All right, here's Brian Davis and the Wyoming Ace Lady Warriors. Uh, Brian, obviously tonight, I know sometimes you get those runs early. Sometimes you get them late tonight. You got it at the beginning of the second quarter, a 12-0 run, and that, you know, it kind of broke up a 9-8 uh, uh, close game after one quarter. What, were you kind of waiting for that run to come? or? I thought that, um, honestly, I thought we were a little bit anxious to start the game. And uh, we were pressing a little bit to try to get to the rim. And I just think we were moving too fast. And once we slowed down and just kind of did what we're supposed to do and stopped trying to win the game on one possession again, uh, <laughs> I thought we played really well. Um, Matty Clark with the 1,000 points. Now, I'm going to get, I'll go ahead and get to that. Uh, that's a great milestone for any, for any player, especially when it comes to being on the, you know, in the COVID uh, era there. Uh, just talking about her and her 1,000 point. I'm just so proud of her. Um, she's a kid that she's always shows up on time. She's she leaves late. Um, she's worked hard. Everything that she's gotten, she's worked for it. it nothing was given. So I, I'm just so proud of her, and uh, she deserves it. Um, as far as, as the game goes, you know they missed a lot of a lot of points, in the, and cut, uh, Rick said, you know, we left a lot of points out there, um, and your defense played well as well. Um, Olivia Monroe, I thought she was a big disruptor inside. Talk about her play I and how Olivia, that helped that, what I, my previous point there. I thought Olivia was really good, uh, especially in the second half when we kind of thought we could get to more high-low stuff. Um, and she just does such a good job of getting her body in the right spot. Um, Gabby did a great job of finding her um, and was able to pass over the top. So um, I just thought she played extremely well on both ends of the floor. What the – you're, you're going to be at home again. How long has it been since you haven't had a section here? It seems like Westside went. That would have been. The, the, the was that the COVID year? Yeah. That would have no, 19? It was the year before 20. that. Yeah, it would have been it, 19. So it's been like this, this team has won a lot of sections. This is your first. What's that mean to you? That means a lot. Um, you know, to be able to do this with this group, uh, it means a whole lot because I know how hard they work and I've been working there with them. So, uh, yeah, this one, this one feels really good until the next one. Rick, Rick also mentioned he, he felt like this team was never able to recover from that second quarter. Did you get a sense of that yourself? I mean, a lot of times coaches are too tuned into what their guys are doing, but did you kind of get a, a sense that you could maybe make one more run and, and you'll be in the, in the driver's seat? Well, we did kind of – we felt the momentum switch. Uh, I can tell you in that. The and, and the game is – you know, this game is so much about ebbs and flows, and we did feel at that point it was kind of like, oh, it's, it's going in our direction, so let's kind of pick up the pace a little bit and let's, let's see if we can do something with it. Your post plays uh, – I wonder what your thoughts are. We talked about it the first game of the year, and you were going to do this <clears throat> with the sub and two out two, and you've done that all season. Where are they now in terms of when you came in and got them to where they are now? Uh, oh, they're light years from where they were. Um, and they believe in what they're doing. And so much of this game is about confidence. And they know. And I tell them every time they go in, like, I trust you. I believe in you. That's why you're on the floor. Did they have to buy into that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, everybody wants to start. Yeah. Sure. And, it, and, and they're so competitive. They all want to start. So I'm hoping that by the way we're rotating things that it allows each of them to get, get some of that. But I'm always, like every coach, a lot less worried about who starts and, who, and more worried about who finishes. Right. And, then, and I think you got seven to finish. So. I do. I, I really like this group a lot. I'm really proud of them. Hey, Brian, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, buddy. Thank you.